don't mind if I sit down, do you? No, it's cool. I'll be leaving soon anyway. You sound a little troubled. What seems to be the matter? Nothing you would understand. I understand a great many things, Garrick. How do you know my name? I've been following you for quite some time now. Who are you? Cadwallader is my name. At least that's the name I'm using this month. It has a nice feel on the tongue. Cadwallader. I prefer if you call me Mr. Scratch, if you don't mind. Look, I'll make it brief, Mr. Harland. You look like a man with a nose for a bargain. And given your current quality and status of life, you don't seem like you have much to lose. And yes, I know about your little gift. You can see the dead. It's quite remarkable, but that's not the reason I'm here. I'm here to make a deal. We both have something that the other wants. That seems like a pretty solid basis for a bargain. And what do you have that could possibly interest me? A great many things, Garrick. Many things varied and delightful. And what do I have that could interest you? A minor item. In fact, something less than minor. Infinite, peaceful, insignificant, microscopic, teensy weensy. Just a question of semantics, really. A language, a mere stretch of words. For example, what is it you want? You want to rid yourself of a gift that you can't use. Let's say you could use that gift. You'd help people move on to a better place, save them. You'd actually make yourself feel like you're worth something. And as a bonus, I'll tack on a couple hundred years to your lifespan, play around with. Some people would call that immortality. You know what I speak of, Garrick. You're scared to die. And this little thing you want in return, what do we call that? Well, uh, what could we call it? We could call it a little piece of your makeup. Crumb off the structure of your being, a fragment of an atom. Or, or what? A soul. I know who you are. I'm known by many names, Mr. Harlan, but at your service nonetheless. What do you say, Mr. Harlan? A partnership of sorts. You deed me your so-called soul, and I'll let you keep your gift to do some real good in the world. You'll be immortal and indestructible. Complete and utter indestructibility. Nothing can hurt you. I'll be able to use my gift for a purpose. I won't get hurt. Mr. Scratch, about my soul, you say I won't miss it? You'll never know it's gone. No tricks, no lies. I just help people as long as I want and that's it? That is it, Mr. Harlan. That is precisely it. And my appearance? Ah, oh, well, there's nothing I can do about that. Garrick, you drive a mean bargain, a most difficult bargain indeed, but I will show you I'm a cooperative man. I'll throw this into the deal. Whatever aging takes place on your face will be more or less imprisoned. Well, Mr. Scratch, I think we're close to making a deal. Ah, you will not regret this, not to your dying day. However, there is one thing. Now it comes out. It's about the bad ones. Bad who? Any ghosts on Earth that were bad in life, I, I've got the break. Ah. Article 94, anyone condemned in life whereupon death will be... I'll give it to you the short way. Anyone who is bad in life, you simply bring their soul to me. But they're not bad anymore. They're good now. I didn't write that rule. That was a former associate of mine. So are we making a deal? Mr. Scratch, may I borrow your pen? There you are. Whew, a little warm out today. Sign this. Initial there. Sign here. Right, and I need one last signature right there. Alright, everything seems to be in order, so tell me Garrick, what do you know about ghosts? Got yo, 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 yo
ashes all fall down.